happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Ooh, my drink today, y'all, it's one of them mango bar drinks. I just got home from work not too long ago, and I just thought I'd make something quick. I stopped the other day and got me a pound of pork from the barbecue place. I put half of it up in the freezer for later, and I left half of it down. Let me say my grace right quick. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So what's been going on, y'all? Let me get a napkin or well, a paper towel. Yeah, I got a roll of paper towels. I just was getting ready to take in the kitchen to refill the roll. Don't y'all hate when paper towels just start? They just be... I didn't need all these, but okay. All right. Anyway, tell y'all what I got for dinner here. It is a little quick, or it's a quickie. I got a uh, barbecue pork uh, quesadilla. All it has on it is pork, barbecue sauce, and cheese. I got some coleslaw I made the other day, some hamburger pickles slices, and some jalapeno slices. Anyway, so what y'all up to today? What y'all eating good in the neighborhood? Y'all, it's been a doozy today. Mmm. Everybody up there, you know, sick. You know, the weather up and down. You know how it be here. So, you know, and that's the um, G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. I like the regular, but this is good, too. I ain't here no sour cream. Mmm. That's good. I wanted some sour cream. Most barbecue places sell pounds of pork. A pound of, like, but sometimes I get brisket, sometimes I get the pork. The pork cheaper than the brisket, but I alternate. So the next time I buy some, it'll be the brisket. But this particular place I got this from is, is called Tops. And that's where I always buy mine from. My brother, he buys some from sometimes some Whole Foods. He says sometimes from uh, Corky's. I'm not a real big fan of Corky's. At all. And I couldn't make up in my mind if I wanted um just saw a barbecue salad, which I might have a salad tomorrow because I got enough meat down. But uh, I had made this slaw, and I said, I gotta eat this slaw because my intent was to have some tacos, shrimp tacos, but I ended up not eating them. I ate some leftover waffles yesterday. I got enough soup there. For a couple of more days too, so okay. I ain't gonna need me pulling another thing out time I'm fixing it. And I got food prepared. My own you know everyone have been I've been watching some of the coverage about the deaths, you know. And been able to watch it, girl. But when I tell you, my heart just broke with Shaq. I was watching a clip, and he was talking about some things just death and period his sister death, his father death, you know, and now his little brother. And he was crying, and it just broke my heart. I started boohooing, just watching him go boohoo because you know he's always so jovial, and I don't know that just touched me. 
And I liked that he was honest. He wasn't, you know what I'm trying to say? They always got along, but that was still his brother, you know? They fought just like any other siblings. You know, but he loved them. So, I don't know. I just couldn't imagine. Oh, this is good, y'all. So, did I ask y'all what y'all had to eat today? Oh. I got some tickets to the game on Saturday. So, two games, as a matter of fact. University of Memphis. Men's basketball. Um, is playing at noon, but I'm not going to be able to go. I was supposed to be going with my daughter, so her and her little friend, they're going to go, and I got some stuff I got to finish up, and so <clears throat> I got a notification that I was approved for some Harlem Road crowd trial tickets at 7 at night, and I don't think I'm going to be able to go to that. I've never seen a home go trial. That's what I hate about it. But I think I'm going to do is I hate to deprive somebody else. I put them in, the, uh, in for them tickets last year. And probably going to tell her go ahead and release them. Um let somebody else go that you know really would want to go even though i would love to see well this little meal turned out really good this is the first time too i use my um because normally i make a my quesadillas on the stove and my cast iron syrup. But I got a a maker, a quesadilla maker. I don't make it I don't think it make it no better. Just put the triangles in it for you. They came out okay. No need to buy one. I'll tell you that. Keep making them how you been making them. But you know, they get you all hyped with these little kitchen gadgets sometimes. Don't get me wrong. I use it since I have it now. But it does not necessitate getting one to make no darn case of deal. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get a tray for some pickles. I prefer sour pickles, which I have some whole sour pickles in there. But I buy these just for my like Big Mac salad. And like sometimes I put pickles on hamburgers or something like that. But I had a taste for some pickles today. So. I used to do people's taxes back in the day. I don't do them no more. I got one person taxes. It's my daughter words to stew out of me. Come telling me. Um, she had her stuff and I need to do her taxes. Hmm. Keep in mind, she also has an accounting degree. Why I need to do them is beyond me. And hers are real simplistic. Somebody sent me a link about if you owe the IRS. But it, it, don't, it does not uh, refer to me. Like you can do like a, like if you're on a bankruptcy or 
have some kind of financial hardship, they have where you can go in and send it. Some type of hardship thing. But you know, call the IRS will hold their money. But if you got some kind of hardship, like if you file bankruptcy or something else, they will let you get your refund. You know, but I think you got to be on some type of payment plan. They have to approve you first, but they say so. Get it approved before you before you file. But I don't know about it in them circumstances. And if you have some circumstances like that, you may want to reach out to the IRS. Well, y'all, that was a quick little meal. But it is a trick. I really like this flavor, this mango flavor. If y'all haven't tried it, give it a try. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me. I just thought I'd stop in for a minute, even though it was a little quick one. I want you to know you're loved. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And love you much. Bye.